Safety wire, you don't see that anymore. Okay, well, let's see. These two bolts take the caliper off. The hose is down here. Looks like about a half inch. All right, let's see if this works. Calipers might be usable. Save this for later. See if see if this will get it. Nice. Well, he on it. He must have put in here. All right, now the rotor comes off. Looks like they've been kind of rough to them. Oh, look at that, no hammer. this dirty but uh All right, folks, here we go. I'm gonna take the suspension corner apart. Starting by cutting the safety wire. I already have documented, so I know which way it goes. So when I replace it, it goes back the way it came. And I was pissed. Anyway, uh, so here we go with Impacto. Let's see if I can get it with this. Oh, I love this thing. Okay. Wide world. tell you this stuff works I'm not an advocate of snake oils and uh, other nonsense but um, you haven't seen me break one yet me and my big mouth all right so we loosen these up and it's a compression fit a tapered compression fit and in order to break it apart you got a bang on it probably seen it on car shows on TV all right so we want to shock it loose. And I'm going to give it a couple shots with the hammer. Hopefully you're seeing this. Uh, I got it loose. And it looks like it's moving. Yes, sir. I think we got that one loose. 
lot of people put pickle forks in there and they smash the hell out of everything. And uh, as long as you're a good shot with the hammer, they have these spots right here, and right here. Same on the back, you can even blast them right there. And it doesn't really leave hammer marks too bad. now anyway give it a whack and there she goes very nice oh, I like it when they cooperate <coughs> it doesn't happen very often because now I'm gonna do the uh, outer tie rod same game Nice and loose. There she goes. She pops apart. Okay. There's the rest of the nut. I don't know if you can see that. The castle nut off there. And rip this stuff right out. Boom. Spindola. Done. All right, folks, I'm back. <clears throat> I'm going to pull the upper control arm, lower control arm. I'm going to blow off the, uh, the um, upper ball joint four and a half inches. We'll knock those out real quick while it's up in the air. joint. Hopefully the camera's getting that. It's kind of tired. I'm going to try to bust this loose. One's inside came off without a fight. So that was kind of cool. And there we go. Unbelievable. Now we'll do the sway bar. Hopefully you guys see this. Okay. There's the sway bar. All this garbage. I don't know if you can see any of this. Hopefully I'm not hogging all the light. Arrgh, onesie. Remove that. That's what we're going to remove next. That's the tough part. Put a wedge wrench on it. Oh, no, I see. I see, said the blind man. Ah! Oh, shit, I'm going to knock this thing off the stand. Not a success story. Okay, that worked out well, thank the Lord. And we've got this bottom one here. We're gonna pull the bottom ones off.
Quero.